Welcome back to another part of our giveaway. On the side, you should see what we're making today, and it's basically a start command and a couple other ping commands using slash commands. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, here I am in my Visual Studio code. And so what we want to do is we want to start off by actually creating the first ping command. So we can do something like next chord dot slash underscore command and name equals ping. And then we're just gonna do description is check the bots ping. And then we can do async def ping. Just the basic setup things. And then after we have that, this is just gonna work like it's a normal command. So we're gonna do em equals next chord dot embed. And then we can do title would would be I guess bot ping and then we can do em dot add underscore field and for this we can do something like name my API latency is and then we would do value and then we would do this so that's the simple ping command and then we can even set a footer so em dot set underscore footer and inside here we can have some text saying something like requested ping requested by interaction dot user and then uh, something else here icon euro which is going to be interaction dot user dot instead of after dot euro it's actually going to be display underscore euro so something like this and that's basically it and then lastly if we want to send this which we do it's going to be interaction await interaction that response that send message embed equals em and that's literally it and that's how you check the bots ping but now what we're going to do is we're going to create another slash command so a next chord dot slash underscore command now if you're using discord.py 2.0 then this probably will be different for you but right now, I'm just gonna use next chord as it's pretty simple for what we wanna do. So we're gonna create giveaway and this is gonna be giveaway command. And in the description, we're gonna say no function. That's a very important thing. And then we can just do self and then interaction is interaction, not integer. And then after that, we're just gonna return it every time it's ran. Yep, that's literally it. Now, the reason is because we're gonna use this giveaway to create the giveaway command to create a sub command off of that called giveaway start, which will be used to, you guessed it, start the giveaway. And so, what we're gonna do to, for that is we're gonna do at giveaway dot sub command and this is actually one of the main reasons i use next chord for this and that's because how easy it is to create sub commands so we're just going to do start and then the description can be started giveaway and now it's going to work just like a normal i guess command and we're also going to use application checks which is next chord's way of actually it's kind of like permissions it just checks if it has permission so we can do something like application dot checks has them score permissions if it has managed messages then great job you can create a giveaway and so now this is gonna just be once again like a normal command so async def start and then inside here it's gonna be interaction and now we're gonna add some of our arguments so our first argument is gonna be prize why because well you know you need a prize right it's a giveaway what are you giving away and so it's going to be the type is going to be str and it's going to be equal to slash option and then it's going to be we're going to give it i guess a description so it's going to be description is the prize for the giveaway and then it's also going to be required to true so required equals true so they have to do this. And then we're gonna have a channel. It's gonna be channel. 
and this is gonna be also a slash option but first it's gonna have a type which is gonna be guild channel and it's gonna have a slash option with a multiple channel type so channel underscore types and inside the channel types what we want to put in is a text channel because that's where the giveaway will actually go to so if i do channel underscore types and it's going to be an array so channel type dot text so now that we have that what we can work on is we can add a description now so now the description is pretty similar it's what channel should the giveaway be in and then there we go and one more thing we're gonna set this required equals to true and now what we're gonna have is just one more argument so what that argument is and it says it's expecting something oh yeah fix that error and it's gonna be the time how long you want the giveaway to go on for and this is gonna be coming in the form of a string and you'll see why so this is gonna be slash option just like last time and we can do something like for the description the length of the giveaway and then what we can do afterwards is we can even add an example so something like ex and something like five day five d six hours or 30 minutes right so we are providing examples so it's really easy for the person whoever is doing it and then we're gonna set to require equals true and i actually lied to you guys yeah there's one more thing i'm sorry about it but you know so what it is is it's gonna be how many winners you want and we might add on to this feature in the future depending on what features that you guys want inside of this spot so what we're gonna do is winners is gonna be an integer equals slash option and we can set the description amount of winners giveaway winners sound like this now you can customize this however you'd like but i think you guys already know that and once again this is going to be required and that's it i know that might be that might have been a bit like tedious and uh, expansive but now we're finally done so now we get to code a lot more yeah it's I was lying when I told you guys that this is going to be difficult. So we're going to do if not channel dot permissions underscore for interaction dot user dot send underscore messages. And basically what this is checking for is it looks for the channel because we it's a variable. Whatever channel they specified, they're checking if it has if whoever's creating the I guess giveaway has the proper permissions to create a giveaway there and so if it does or if it doesn't we can return interaction dot response dot send underscore message something like you do not have the permissions to send messages in that channel simple as that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do time equals human friendly dot parse underscore time span and we're gonna pass in time and then we're gonna do epoch end equals high time which is over here it's just a regular time module but i import it as time just so we don't have a mix up in it Pi time dot get time dot, I mean, so dot time plus time yeah there's a lot of time things going on but basically what this is going to do is it's going to take whatever it's going to take whatever time that was inserted in here so let's say 30 minutes or actually that's just two five minutes and that's equivalent to 300 seconds so it's going to convert it to 300 seconds and then it's going to grab the current epoch time which is whatever it's like a whole string of numbers and it's going to add 300 to it which is going to result in our epoch end and the epoch time is basically how many seconds have passed since 1970 i hope that's correct since like the new year of 1970 and then we're going to edit 
we're gonna do some things with the database so we're gonna do async with self.bot.db dot cursor as cursor and then in here what we're gonna do is await cursor dot execute and inside this we're gonna insert something in here insert into giveaways and we're gonna insert a couple of things so there are a bunch of things in here so we're gonna do time prize and then yeah here we go this automatically did all the values for me because you know github copilot and then what we're gonna do after that is actually it didn't do all of them so we have guild prize and then message channel guild part and then we need participants winners and then finished now we have all of them and then we're going to set values for them and we have one two three four five six seven eight so we're going to do eight values all right so after we write that what we want to write is we want to actually fill in the data that's supposed to go in here so what we can do is we're going to do another parentheses and we're going to have a bunch of things in here so first starting off with epoch end and then for the prize, we're just going to do prize. And then for the message, we're just going to set it to a blank, I guess, string. For the channel, it's going to be channel.id. For the guild, it's going to be interaction.guild.id. And then over here, what it's going to be is for the actual participants, it's not going to be anything. So if I remove this, for the participants, it's going to be nothing. Then it's going to be winners and then it's gonna be zero and there you go so now that we actually inserted all of this data into our database now what we can do is we can create an embed for it so we can do embed equals next core dot embed and inside here we're gonna have title equal something like i have even uh, an emoji at hand which is the tada emoji it's basically just like a party popper and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place those two over there and then inside them we can just put prize and make sure it's an f string and then inside the description we can add a bunch of things so what we can do is if we want to remove the color because we don't really need that we can write first of all when it ends so ends uh, and then we're gonna use discord's timestamp feature which is like this just copy what i'm doing and then inside here we can do epoch end and then have another one at the end like that and then what we can do is have another one of them where we copy this and we change the t and the f into a t and an r like so now that we do that what we can do is we can do a new line using the new line i guess and then we can do winner and then we can have winners and then what we have is another new line and it's just going to be displaying, I guess, information. And lastly, it's going to be click join giveaway because it's going to be a button to join. And then that's basically it. So after that's done, what we can do is now we can actually just send that message because it's got everything that we need. So we can just do away interaction dot send or sorry interaction to response dot send message embed equals embed and now we're going to create a view so you'll see what i mean but basically what it is is we're actually going to do interaction we're not going to send the embed we're actually going to send giveaway started in and we're just going to f string this channel dot mention so like that all right and then we're going to set this to imperial so it's only viewable by one person 
all right now that we have that we can create a view variable which is going to be join and give away and then pass in time prize interaction.yield.id epoch and and self.bot and now what we're going to do is we're going to comment out that line you'll see why and then we can do msg equals await channel.send equals embed equals embed and then do view dot message equals msg comment out that line and then lastly what we're gonna do is we're gonna update the information so wait await cursor dot execute update giveaway set message to question mark where guild is question mark where guild and prize is question mark and the time just to be sure and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna change i guess all the data here just so it works and so inside this what we want to do is i added an extra parenthesis on accident but what we want to pass in is msg.id interaction.guild.id prize and epoch end and that's it and last thing what we want to do is this is arguably the most important is await self.bot.db dot db dot commit and this will just send all of our info and that's basically it this is the start command and i know it took a long time but now next time we have a giveaway video we're gonna work on the buttons part and then soon the reroll okay and so that's gonna be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed and just in case uh you want to test it out you can go ahead i'm just saying if you don't have the guild ids or like the test the guilds then it's not gonna you're not gonna be able to see the slash command so that's gonna be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed and until next time glow stick out see ya